Hi everybody, my name is Joshua and welcome back to Perform Better series. Before we begin, there will be a few safety checks that I got to do. Firstly, did you remember to do your 5 to 10 minutes of warm up by yourself before you start the exercise? Number two, um, do be aware of your surrounding. Today we will be needing a chair, any common chair that you have, a resistant band. If not, if you have weights of uh, 5, 10 kilos or whatever your preferred weight that you wish to carry, you can bring them along as well. But for just this video, I'll just only be using a resistant band and a chair that can be easily found at home. Now next, before we begin, there's another safety check that I gotta do. Number one, any of you having any headache, giddiness or nauseousness right now? And if you just recovered from a flu or any illnesses in a recent week, I would strongly encourage that you do not continue with the exercise video. You can always play back the video and just follow through the exercises when you feel better. Alright, so that being said, Today, we're going to talk about principles of isometric, eccentric, and 90 degrees movement. So, what is isometric and what is eccentric? Remember, when you're training your muscles, there are different kinds of concentration, okay? So, number one, if you're squeezing, it's called a concentric. When your muscle is in pull, it's called an eccentric, okay? Concentric, when you're pulling it, eccentric. Isometric is when you squeeze and you're pulling on two or more movements. So which is pretty much, um, that's the case for eccentric and isometric. And how we're going to do that, I'll show you through two different exercises that you can do. Okay, one for your lower body and one for your upper body as well. Okay, so right now, why is 90 degrees an efficient movement? Okay, so just let me show you an example of it, okay? So normally when you do your squats or you sit to stand or you know when you do your shoulder press or you do any movements, they'll always be okay just go as low as you can or as high as you can and that will help you to improve your mobility. No, that is not the case. Alright, so to actually improve your mobility, number one is apart from just doing the stretch, okay, is to continue with a movement that is very functional, okay, doesn't overstretch yourself and with that movement, it will help you to last longer in exercise. So, when you're doing your shoulder press, very, very, very common. Just using the band as an example. Many a times, we will be stretching and while you're doing your shoulder press, even with dumbbells or kettlebells or any other weights or barbells, okay? So, a lot of times you'll go down very low and you open your chest 180 degrees or above 180 degrees okay when you go to the gym you see a lot of these people doing this kind of movements no that's not good for you okay first you need to remember just bend in slightly so you can take a look at my shoulders okay my shoulders just bend in slightly not open 180 degrees bend in slightly from here and my elbows okay are going to be tucked at 90 degrees only I'm not going to go below, okay? I'm not going to go too high above as well. So why it is functional, very simple. From here, 90 degrees, number one, injury prevention, okay? You're going to help your shoulders, muscles last longer. Number two, when you go down too low with too heavy weights, what happens is that sometimes you must understand how your shoulder joint works. Okay, sometimes you'll feel shoulder pain while doing shoulder press. It is because your muscles are clamped in between, okay? Just imagine your joint has a gap and your muscles are clamped in between the two joints and that's why when you push up, you feel a sudden strain and a sudden sharp pain. And that's why we always say 90 degrees is sufficient because number one, you're never ever 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 gonna be reaching down so high and reaching down too low just to pick up something from the shelf. Okay, if you're going to be picking up from the shelf, it's always going to be from 90 degrees. You're just going to reach all the way to 180 degrees and you're going to take and you're going to bring it down. And you just put it down. Okay, you're never ever going to be doing this. No. So it's 90 degrees to reach up to take, put it down. That's how it is. Okay, similarly for your squats. When you're trying to pick things up, 
when you're trying to um, you know, climb up the stairs, you're always on 90 degrees when you're climbing up the stairs, right? You're never ever going to be like a power lifter going down to 180 degrees and full flexion like that. And not many of you can actually do this movement. Okay? And doing it too much, doing it too much if you're not conditioned and your body is not conditioned to the point like how an athlete is, where you've been training for multiple number of years, this kind of squats will only damage your knees. Okay, and especially when you're doing it wrongly, if your knees are caving in or your knees are moving around a lot or your hips are shifting, these are the things that you do not see unless you have a personal trainer. So just remember when you're doing your squats on your own, 90 degrees is enough. Just like your shoulder press, that's it. Because you climb up the stairs, you move around, okay, 90 degrees is enough, right? When you climb up the stairs, and we come up and you want to pick something, back straight chest out, 90 degrees is enough. And if you just want to pick something on the floor, then 90 degrees. See? You're never ever going to be doing this to pick, try and pick something up on the ground. So that being said, that's why 90 degrees is sufficient. And those are the angles that we'll be working today. So when you do your squats later on, okay, from here, you just be squatting back. Knees, do not pass your toes. Back straight chest out. Don't slouch. Don't do it like that. Back straight chest out. And from the front view, how you look like it's when you do your squats. Okay, back straight chest out. Knees, don't pass your toes. Feel the weight on your heels. So take a look at the side view again. Down. Heels, feel the weight on your heels. 90 degrees and coming up. Okay, so these are the two exercises we will be doing for squats and overhead press. And you'll be doing it in isometric and eccentric format. Why? Because not just based on my words, okay, this whole entire exercise, isometric, eccentric, and 90 degrees, there have been so much research, especially you can take a look at Dr. Seatman. Um, there's so many, 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 many research going on for, for multiple amount of years that actually proved that this amount of, uh, this 90 degrees isometric, eccentric actually helps to increase hypertrophy, which is growth in muscles. Okay, so there is a rough number, okay, which somewhere in between about 25% increase uh, people who do isometric eccentric and 90 degrees saw an improvement of 25% more than people who don't okay so of course you can also do your own research on your own but this is uh, the findings that I have found all right so right now we're just gonna begin with your three sets of five for two exercises okay let's start off with your squats first So always look out for your surrounding. So we're gonna start off with your squats. Isometric, eccentric, how are we gonna do it? We're gonna squat halfway, and once you're in your 90 degrees, I want you to give your muscles a tight squeeze. Okay, so squeeze your tight, your, your legs, engage your core, back straight chest out, two, three, four, five, and you come up. And still tightening your muscles when you come up. It doesn't relax. Okay, let's do it for the second rep. And go down, squeeze your muscles. Hold, two, three, four, five, up. And still squeezing your muscles. And your butt as well, give it a good squeeze. And go, three, two, three, four, five, and up. Two, three, four, Five. Now, four, two, three, four, five, and up. Three, four, five. Now, five, two, three, four, five, and up. Squeeze. Two, three, four, five. That is how you do your first set of 90 degrees isometric eccentric squats. Now, we're going to move to your overhead press with your resistant band or dumbbells or whatever weights that you choose to do, want to do, okay? So, hands 90 degrees. Remember, never 180 degrees, close a little bit. Back straight, chest up. From here, give it a good squeeze. Squeeze your hands. Engage your shoulders, and go. 
One, two, three, four, five, and down. Two, three, four, five, and up. Squeeze. Two, three, four, five, and down. Squeeze. Two, three, four, five, and go up. Three, four, five, and down. Two, three, four, five. Now four. Two, three, four, five, and down. Squeeze. Three, four, five, and go up. Two, three, four, five, and down. Two, three, four, five, and down. Okay. So that is your first set. We'll be moving on to your second set shortly. So give yourself a breather. If you need to have a sip of water, have a sip of water, okay? We've got two more sets to go. Stand by for your squats. Remember, engage and squeeze your muscles at all points of time, okay? So already tighten. And go. Down 90 degrees, hold. Two, three, four, five, and up. Squeeze. Three, four, five. Now go two, two, three, four, five, and up. Squeeze. Four, five, and three, two, three, four, five, and up. Four, five, and four, two, three, four, five, and up. Two, three, four. Five, now five, down, hold, two, three, four, five, and up, two, three, four, five. Wow. Even though I'm doing it without additional weights, just body weights, you should be able to feel the soreness that's kicking in right now. It is really a different sensation when you're doing the isometric eccentric. Okay? So that's how you can boost your own exercises and help improve and strengthen your muscles, okay? So right now, we're going to move to your overhead press. Remember, not too wide, okay? Not 180 degrees. Close it up a little bit. Angle it 90 degrees from here. Squeeze tight. Two, three, four, five, and push. Two. Three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, and push. Two, three, four, five, and down. Three, two, three, four, five, and push. Two, three, four, five, and down. Four, two, three, four. Five and up. Two, three, four, five and five. Two, three, four, five and push. Two, three, four, five and relax. Oof. That is two sets. Remember when you're doing your isometric eccentric for your shoulder press, already tighten and squeeze your shoulders. Okay, so that's why I can see my hands jitter. Okay, or it's shaking a little bit in camera, it's totally normal. You have to activate and squeeze those muscles first while you're in those movements. So you're not just pulling it in one single direction, you're going for a two-directional pull. Okay? That's set number two. We've got one more to go. Alright? Stand by for your squats. Ready? Go. Squeeze your muscles and down. Up. Two, three, four, five, and up. Two, three, four, five, and go. Two, two, three, four, five, and up. Two, three, four, five. Now three, down. Two, three, four, five, and up. Two, 
three, four, five. Now four, slow move down and squeeze. Two, three, four, five, and up. Two, three, four, five. Now four, 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 five, and up. Two, three, four, five, and last and final. Three, four, five, and up. Two, three, four, five. That's five. And that's set number three. You got one more set for your overhead press. Okay? Ready. Back straight chest out. Hands. Remember, not over 180 degrees. Close it in a little bit. Give it a good squeeze. And go. Two, three, four, five, and push. Three, four, five, and down. Two, three, four, five, and two. Two, three, four, five, and down. Three, four, five, and three, two, three, four, five, and down. Three, four, five, and four, two, three, four, five, and five, two, three, four, five, and up, two, three, four, and five. And that being said, we are done with the exercises. Whew. And that is how you do your isometric eccentric 90 degrees for your squats and your overhead press. All right? So now, before you go anywhere, let's just do our cool down stretches first, okay? So first and foremost, you'll be doing a trap stretch, okay? You're gonna stretch your trapeze over here. So how are you gonna do it? Very simple. Left hand over your right and Squeeze it down. What's your hands? What's your other hand gonna do? You're gonna reach it back all the way as far as you can. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and change. Do the same. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, right now we're gonna stretch your deltoids, which is your shoulders over here. Yeah, use them a lot today. You need to stretch them out. Okay, so from here, what you're gonna do? Left hand, cross over to your right, right hand, hook up, and now look left. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and change. Three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, now you're gonna stretch your chest muscles, okay? Because you did use them a little bit, okay, when you push up. So we're going to stretch your chest. How are we going to do that? Hands open wide, palms face out, wrists all the way back. And just open up and stretch as wide as you can to stretch your chest. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, now we're going to stretch your quads, okay? So heels all the way to your butt. So heels to butt. And go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, now the other side. Ready? And go. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now your hamstring and your calves. 
So you're gonna bend one leg, okay? Your right leg can bend a little bit, but stretch your entire left leg. Toes point up in the air. Hands, aim for the base of your feet. You should feel a stretch on your hamstring and your calves. Remember, straighten your knees. If you can't touch your toes, just go as low as you can, okay? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Change. Left leg bend, right leg fully straighten, knees do not bend. Right leg, knees do not bend, okay? And reach down for your toes. If your flexibility is as good as mine, just reach for the floor. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, right now we're done with your cool down and the entire exercise of this entire series. So today we have learned the principles of isometric and eccentric exercises and why 90 degrees is the most efficient for you. Okay, so with that being said, I'll see you on the next episode of the series. Bye.